In this presentation, I'm going to be talking about friendship and Toni Morrison Sula. Nell and Sula's friendship has such a big presence in the book and plays a big part in how each girl identifies herself and presents herself to the people in the bottom. The two girls utilize the connection they have to support each other as each girl explores her identity. The friendship empowers Nell and Sula and allows them to explore their identities and obtain autonomy. I want to discuss how friendship can be seen as a form of empowerment for Black women when defining themselves. It is important to see how friendship can be a tool and resource for Black women creating their self-definitions. The two girls didn't let the small differences prevent them from being attached to the hip. They embraced each other wholly, even with their differences, and created a bond each girl had yearned for. And the master's tools tool will never dismantle the master's house by Audre Lorde. The author discusses the importance of recognizing the differences between women to enact change. The differences can allow women to gain knowledge and continue to build powerful connections with each other. We can see what effect friendship has on each girl. We see Nell's act of defiance to her mother by not using the clothes put on her nose after she meets Sula. And although a small act, Nell decides by herself what she does with her body. Sula even cuts out part of her finger when confronted by the boys in the street. They both understand they can make their own choices and they assert their strength. As children, Sula and Nell begin to understand that they can take charge of their lives and how to do so. Each girl influences the other because they've created a safe space with each other. In The Power of Self-Definition, Collins explains how safe spaces for Black women are important because they allow Black women to be independent and watchful eyes when exploring their self-definitions. Collins also discusses how making one's self-definition is not about being alone, but about how a person can define themselves in relation to the community. By realizing the connection between Black women, they can possess more significant self-definitions. This can be seen when Nella and Sula meet. After they met, each girl was able to grow with the help of the other. The two girls are described as meeting first in their dreams. Each girl knew what they longed for, and their dreams reflect that. Nell and Sue's loneliness made them yearn for the presence of someone who would, have, who would have the same delight as they did for the images in their mind. Once the dream came true, the two girls could guide each other through life. Because of the familiarity and connection between the two, Nell and Sula can find solace in each other. Nell and Sula filled this void in each other's lives and used each other as a resource when creating their identities. The friendship nourished the girls. Each girl began to understand who they wanted to be and how they wanted to present themselves. The text describes Nell and Sula as being like one human. So it is stating that a compliment to one was the same as complimenting the other, but their friendship is put on pause when Nell marries Jude and Sula leaves the bottom. Each woman has to adapt to being without the presence of the other. We can see how each of the girls was affected by the lack of friendship. When Sula returns to the bottom, Nell is excited to see her friend. It's like Nell is getting a part of herself back. Nell's laugh is stronger and more real with Sula present. Nell doesn't have to pretend anymore. She feels whole again. It seems as though Nell and Sula can fall right back into their usual banter after being apart for years. In Morris's article, Sisters Separated for Much Too Long, Women's Friendship and Power in Toni Morrison's, Morrison's Ersetative, there is a discussion about the importance of connections between women. The article explains how effective friendship can be for a woman when looking for meaning in one's life. Nell and Sue reflect that by depending on each other for meaning, whether good or bad. We can see how Nell still relies on Sula after Nell discovers the affair with Jude. Nell only thinks that Jude looks naked when she catches two together. The familiarity for Sula has not disappeared. Nell wanted comfort from Sula. Nell wanted comfort from a friend, which again goes back to how important friendship can be for a woman. Although Nell is dealing with her grief, her thoughts are still of Sula. Nell is looking for some knowledge on what to do with herself and wants guidance from Sula. I think this event shows how powerful friendship can be. That need to confide in a friend is so strong that Nell momentarily forgets that Sula has hurt her. Sula had no thoughts of hurting Nell when she was with Jude. Sula sees her and Nell's friendship as different from the average one. Sula had only been looking for a friend through her lovers while she was away from Nell. Maybe being with Jude was a way she could get closer to Nell. Jude had become like this divider between the women, and if Sula could conquer the divide, then maybe Nell and Sula could become close again. Sula possesses self-autonomy, and utilizes it to act the way she wants. The Bonham may not like what she is doing, but Sula continues to live by her own rules. Sula doesn't let the opportunity, let the community stop her from being herself. It's important to see that Sula has the power to make her own choices. In The Power of Self-Definition, Collins discusses the concept of self-respect for Black women and how possessing it can affect a woman's mindset.
As Sue is on her deathbed, her words are empowering as she describes what she possesses. She owns her mind, which nobody else can enter unless she allows them. Sula believes that she has worth, even as the bottom wishes her dead. Self-perception is so important when considering that Black women are constantly perceived negatively. People are putting labels on Black women and trying to force them into the standards that are used to oppress them. Collins emphasizes that everyone has the power to build their self-definition and change the way they view themselves. If you can't see your worth, then how will somebody else? After everything the two have experienced together, it's no surprise that Sula's final thoughts are of Nell. After Sula's death, Nell finally realizes that she was missing Sula this whole time and not Jude. Their friendship had such an impact on both of the women's lives. The intimacy between the women could not be replaced by anybody they met, no matter how hard they tried. Nell and Sula's friendship gave each the strength to create their identities while experiencing life together. Their friendship allowed the women to guide each other as they navigated life with its ups and downs. It became the most important thing for each of them. And Toni Morrison, Sula, Nell, and Sula find intimacy with each other that no one else could give them. The friendship empowered Nell and Sula because each woman had the other to rely on and look to for guidance. This representation of friendship being a tool for Black women when making their self-definition is so important as Black women reject the negative stereotypes and standards placed on them.